Hey guys, Josh here. Happy Sunday. I wanted to make a short video about talking yourself off that ledge. All right. Uh, now, some of you might know what I mean when I say this, uh, but it's essentially like you're, you're on top of your anxiety. Below you, you have all the different things and factors that go into whatever you're trying to achieve. Uh, and the anxiety from either doing or not doing um, or thinking you can do other things builds up and you're standing on top of it and you're about to dive into it. And what I mean by diving into it is diving into those quick uh, short-term solutions or things that comfort you, okay? Instead of just talking yourself down from that ledge and coming back to reality and thinking about all the different things that led up to that and if they're actually applicable or not, okay? So that's what I mean by being on top of that ledge, essentially. I uh, had a couple clients this week approach that ledge. Uh, both were nutrition related, okay? Um, one was, I'm thinking about my past self and all the things that I could have done in the past that would have made me better now. Another one was, I haven't been doing very well recently and I need to change all these things to do better instead of just going back to the thing that was working. So two different scenarios, both have to do with nutrition, both are on the ledge, both need to be talked down from it. So the first thing I uh, kind of recommend guys uh, is if you're on that ledge, just trying to literally take a deep breath and what I do is I just say, let it go, like, let it go. And I at least feel a very calming sense come over me. It may last a short amount of time. It may last the rest of the day or a week or whatever, but that's the starting point, okay? So I'm just grounding myself and breathing, all right? If it's anything that has to do with things that you did in the past that could have led to a better future, and that's what got you on that ledge, forget about it, okay? That's something you need to work through uh, because that's not gonna, you can't change the past. There's nothing you can do in order to be essentially a better person than you are right now, okay? You are where you are because you are who you are, okay? Um, so as far as that scenario and talking yourself off that ledge, just need to understand that, hey, may have been a crappy person in the past. Maybe I need to vocalize and tell some people how I feel about myself, but that means that I'm going to try even harder now. Use that and think about how much, how many things you could do better now to become that version of yourself that you think you can become by changing a bunch of shit in the past. Okay. Um, not a quick answer, but that's something that you can explain. Okay. That's something that you can talk to people about. Uh, additionally, along with that, talking to that person about, hey, like, hey, you might have not made the best choices in the past, but reinforce them, let them know, hey, you're doing this really well, you're doing this really well, and this happened just because of this. Explain what happened and why. Okay, this one was weight related, um, so it was easy to explain why that happened. Um, so the other scenario though, where we are at a point where we haven't been tracking consistently um, and we're feeling like crap about ourselves more and more every single day, uh, and all of a sudden we start thinking about all those quick fixes, you know, like, like eating under a thousand calories or going to really low fat or something like that, or just like changing something to an extreme just so you can get that response and kind of get back on track if that kind of makes sense, like you get yourself back on the rails. Uh, you know, it's a completely different scenario than the other one, similar as far as nutrition, but this one, you just gotta remind that person again that, hey, the stuff we were doing was working, okay? Like, this is coaches and like, just people in general, I guess, like that want to uh, get better as far as physically and mentally, you need to keep track of this stuff. You need to keep solid numbers because if you don't, uh, you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to look back when you are in a situation like that and be like, hey, 
I'm fine. Like I've been making progress. I just need to get back to being consistent and I will make progress again. Um, so that person is an easier one to like, I would say understand as far as like talking down from the ledge, but uh, getting that person to understand that what you're doing has been working. So you just need to keep doing that instead of changing something when it's not work, when, when you're not doing it consistently. Um, how you kind of talk to that person is like I said, just ground them in the facts. Like, Hey, this is working and you just got to keep up with it. Okay. They're, they're just, it's a mindset that they, they have had. It's, it's not healthy to have that mindset of course. Um, but they have it for some reason. And if they got to work, if they, if they need a little bit of reassurance every now and then like, Hey, this, this is working. So let's just get back to being consistent or it's okay to fail or let's just like, like just continual reminders that all we need to do is get back on track instead of changing something helps that person. Okay. Um, so those were the two scenarios guys, as far as like talking yourself off the ledge that I had this week. Um, I wanted to share them with you because I feel like the things that I go through with clients can help you as a lifter, as a person trying to lose weight, as a person just trying to get stronger or healthier, whatever. Um, but if you do have any questions about this or you have any comments too, uh, anything you guys want to share as far as like stories, maybe you have a scenario where you talk yourself off the ledge, that'd be awesome. Okay. I'd love to hear that stuff. Um, hope y'all have a great Sunday until next time we will see you later.